Is this going to load into the... Dots. Uh, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Oh! Out of everything that would have been appearing here, this was not what I was expecting, to be quite honest, game. Can I... I should be able... I don't know if I have to censor this. YouTube can be kind of finicky about this sort of stuff. It's nothing that bad. Getting out of here anytime soon? It's impossible. I mean, to be fair, I'd probably be in bed crying this whole time too, Heen, if I was in your position. How much I want to get out of here. Yeah, you don't want to get in your own head about that sort of stuff. I keep thinking like that. I might decide to. I mean, yeah, you don't want to go there. Thoughts. Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. They'll cheer me up. I just wanted to save. Blaze donuts, twisted donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes, uh, mala salads. Okay. Oh god, a donuts. I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. Can I save, please? Stiff, I'm sorry. Please screw me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Grind, grind. Huh? Huh? What was that sound? Hmm. That sounds like it's coming from the bathroom? Guess I should have saved uh, back then, but the game continues when you save. I'm super scared, but... Is it... Is someone there? Gasp. <laughs> is it... What? Chapter 3. The next generation led him to stand tall, galactic hero. What is this? <laughs> the morning after the conclusion of the second class trial, everyone met up in the dining hall just like always, and I expected to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> today's count kind of sucks, huh? Toko and Byukia still refuse to show up. Um... As he miss uh, Asahina he anywhere, hmm. she said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh. That's rather unusual for her. Normally she's so full of energy. Mm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then. So it's just a seven us then. It looks that way. How about that? It's time that we make uh, committee chairman needs. Uh, it's time like this where the committee chairman needs to get some things going with a bang. Dots. Impossible. Or not. So he's broken. Taka hasn't said a word since everything had happened yesterday. But one look at his face showed he hadn't slept a wink eat last night. It must be because of Mondo. Two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo kills Shihiro. And then having to watch Mondo get punished, and nothing he could do about it? I can't even imagine what that must have done to him. Well... So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found a w any way out, and we have no idea if that's, uh, if help's ever gonna come. <laughs> huh, now I'm all the tres like... depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things, do our best to get along, and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world. Accept this new life, and that's the only way, the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well... Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen to. Why are you so dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence? As the society grows, so does its perversions. In which case, in our current situation, not... <laughs> Demon angel, pretty pudgy princess. Huh? Here we go. Maggie, the drill shop owner, the bunny-eared Amazon, cat girl, dog girl, Robo Justice, the Galactic King, and and. What I mean is, there's no 2D here. There is nothing to be done. The mastermind put such base desires in their advantages, bending you to their will. You know? Well, yeah. Anyways, since talk is like uh, catatonic, hmm. uh, as the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm wrong, well, I mean, right? since the class, class trial is over and all, perhaps there should be a new place to, for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's a ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue there. Well then. Then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> <laughs> there may be well, uh, they may well be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our lives here. Ah, um... uh, no. The point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me, and so I appeared! He called for me, so I appeared! Genocide! What? Nobody called for you! Uh, 
um, with that. How come it's Genocide Jill and not Togo? Yes! God, this place is amazing! Finally a place I can just be my murderous self! Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings! No more hiding in a cave for me! Uh -huh. Plus I have another battle to fight. The whole killer with the split personality thing is so overdone, I gotta destroy that stereotype. You I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous, cl slanderous cliches! Uh, um. uh, but you are a killer with split personality. <laughs> <laughs> if she weren't here, my chances of survival would be at least 10%. Come on, you gotta get, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need to, the little people to hold them up. <laughs> so free time? Well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> exactly, I would also like the end of the episode. Maybe I could split it up at the save screen for the, like, the next episode. That's probably a good idea because it's been a little bit. So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer, and after our much needed but very annoying mail, we set to work looking for around the school. Can I save yet, please? Oh, thank God. All right, and we're back. Well, I guess technically for you guys, I never left, but it's been a couple days for me. Uh, yeah, I don't know, in the future, we're gonna, there's probably gonna be a couple days when there's no Danganronpas, right? Because, uh, yeah, I got limited time when it comes to recording. And spending over two hours for one episode, uh, is probably gonna, like, throw the schedule off a little bit. I think we're just exploring the school, right? Because we're looking for new access, well, access to new areas. But yeah, I don't know. I think going forward, there's probably gonna be, like, a day or so after, like, trials. I don't know. It's I don't know. It really depends on how much longer they get, right? Because, like, two hours is a long time. Um, is the stairs this way? Oh, there's the stairs. I got, like, really confused there for a second. But, yeah, they'll probably be, like, a day or so because like, I do got limited time when it comes to actually, like, recording things. So, if we're going to keep doing the trials all in one episode then that's probably going to cause some issues. But that doesn't matter. That's something in the future we can deal with. Um, Could it be? No, it couldn't be. I did go to the store for a little bit, and I did spend some of my coins. Uh, however, I think we're going to do that in between like recording sessions, because uh, doing that 100 times is going to take a while. So, uh, yeah, I'll do that probably after this episode, or well, we'll see. Uh, nothing changes, uh, nothing's changed on this floor. Hmm. The only difference is the gate blocking the stairs leading to the third floor is gone. I guess that's where they want us to head to next. I wonder what kind of crazy stuff is up there. I mean, like, that is a change, I would imagine. A pretty big change, right? Oh, the floor is actually right there. Alright. So what's gonna be up here? We got a gym and a pool before, and a library. So, what's this going to be? The third floor of the Hope Speaking Academy. I wonder what we're going to find this time. What's up here? There's something on the plane. Some thing? What is this? Huh? Rec room. A record room. Oh, is it like... I got to look at the map here because the layout is actually confusing me. Okay, so there's like a recording room, some more classrooms, Sakura's in 3A, respiratory, art room, equipment room, physics room. Okay, and apparently there's going to be a fourth floor. My high school only had three floors, so kind of jealous, to say the least. Yeah, no, it had three floors. <laughs> Sorry, there's this thing there, Despair Squadron. Hi, Sakura. So in the end. The windows up here are also barred with metal plates. Not surprising, I suppose. No escape till still looks uh, so escape still looks impossible. But I'd better check all the other metal plates again, just to be sure. Sure. Should probably check some stuff for some more uh, coins, but uh, we can do that a little bit later too. Uh, we'll go into the rec room, see what's in here. There's Kyoko over there. Hope we get some free time today. I don't know who I'm gonna hang out with next, but. Yeah, I don't know. So this is... Oh, a recreational room, not like a recording room. Yeah, a recreational room. A recreational room, a place for students to come and relax. I never would imagine a school having a place like this. <laughs> well, no other school would. It has Othello, Shogi, even a dartboard, and a pool table. 
and my control is not working. Why? Why, game? Why must you do this? Did I bump it? Come on, there we go. And look at this. They even provide us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helping in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Ring, ring, ring! Hello there! Allow me to expand! We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, and all kinds of magazines. Oh, but nothing dirty. This is the school, after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. So then. Oh, will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad. Sorry, no can do. Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Watch out! Oops! Not the... Never mind! No, no, no! Anyways, that's it for my export exportation. Uh, bye bye Dots. What he just said... I know, right, it bothers me too. Most Life here would be much easier, nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? Okay. So something's going on, right? <laughs> Um, what kind of magazines you get here? Any game pros? Actually, I was looking through uh, the Internet Archive site recently, and they have a lot of old school magazines that I might actually just have to download at some point, because, like, I don't really get magazines anymore on anything. I get, well, I get bills. That's depressing. But there's no real magazines anymore that I was actually interested in. There's, like... Like what, PC Mag or something like that? I don't know, this is never really interesting. Like, I miss the old school Game Pros and like Nintendo Powers. Hello. It would seem. So the third floor has opened up this. After a beast brief investigation, it looks like a physics lab in an art room. Ooh. I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. All right, so you're pretty much just talking to yourself there. And that's not what I wanted. So we are, like, right here, I think. This is the art room. I wish I had, like, a mini-map or something. That's the fourth floor. This is the physics lab. All right, we'll, uh, I think Toko's in the physics lab. So we'll, uh, we'll worry about her after. And go to the art room. There we go. Oh, well, okay. There's your quick fix, Fumi. At first glimpse, this looks like any normal art room. But something about it seems off, or multiple things. Probably all the colorings on the background. Like this stuff. There are paintings lining the wall. Is this really art? It just looks like a bunch of crappy graffiti to me. Thanks. Look, art is in the eye of beholder, all right? <laughs> oh, well, well, look at this equipment. It certainly sc uh, scratches the artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. That's not the button I wanted. Also, I didn't know we could open our menu there. So, Hufumi, do you like sculptures or figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Karen, Karen Boo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Soburu, uh, Ron, uh, Ron Pungi makes? Sure. Uh, Karnabu's ability to express the movement of muscles is quite exquisite, as seen in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkin is a little is a, like a little sculpture fairy, representing this century's greatest qualities. So Brewer, meanwhile, is known for his Mecca Museum uh, series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be uh, be regarded as the Elite Four. Okay, Mr. Video Game Reference Guy, but one of your elites is missing. You know well, the Elite Three all just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Besides, this... <laughs> Jesus Christ. The, that empty seat rightly belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> it begins. Today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of this century. See, I see. Well, I see. Good, good luck with that. Goddamn weirdo. Urgh. Hey, Monokuma. I mean, I get, it's good to be passionate, right? But still? This is the respiratory that's attached to the art room. Yeah, but about that... 
There's something on the floor. It looks like a pitcher. But as I stretched my hand out to get it, almost as if it was as if it, on its own, my hand froze. Huh? What I saw in the picture was Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo, and they were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head one after another. Why is there only these three people? What are they doing together? I kind of remember they're smiling like that. When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they use? How did it get developed? And in the picture, the windows in the classroom. Yeah, this is not a recent picture. There's no metal plates, uh, metal plates covering it. That must mean, whenever this, wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak. But there was no time to find the answer. All the questions floating in my head were quickly drowned out by... Should have picked up that picture. That's mine! Give it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo, and any chance I had of answers were evaporated. You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that <laughs> they were definitely living their school life. It's like they they ripped the page right out of the book of youth. What's going on with that photo? Do you know? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind. I don't even know why I bothered asking. Huh. Okay. Sure. A dolly. Yep, that is a dolly. We should have grabbed that picture before he came. Kind of figured something like that was going to happen. Looks like Captain Hook. So that picture was definitely not taken here. Hmm. They looked like they did, though, right? It did look recent, so it wasn't like... Something from, like... A long time ago. Ah, they'll probably explain it later. But yeah, they were definitely... It wasn't like they were, like, young, young kids or anything like that. But... They had their same appearances that they did now. Hmm. I mean, Mondo was missing his jacket. That's about it. Uh, excuse me? What the f What the hell is this? This is the physics lab? This is quite the physics lab. It looks less like a classroom, more like some kind of research institute. What is... I saw something over here. That. Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime style on it. Oh, god damn it. There we go. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. If yeah, it still works, I should show the others later. Hello, Taka. Hey, Taka, do you know... Do you, do, don't you think this place is some kind of research institute? Dots. Still in reaction. Right, you kind of kind of took it pretty hard, huh, dude? Yeah. And is Toko back here? Is she Toko or Jill? She's Jill. This is the equipment room. It's super or disorganized and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. <laughs> this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formaldehyde is almost unbearable. I'm it's so I'm tempting. Uh -huh. I was, I was just, just, I was just dunk. I'll, I was gonna just dunk myself right in it. Uh, dots. So of course, genocide Jack likes it. Uh, that just goes to show you how disgusting it really is. How do we get Toko back out? Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, is there anything that stands out here that I should investigate? I guess everything, right? Huh. The camera really stood out, and it turns on, so that means we could probably check out some pictures that might be on it. Maybe it's the camera that took the picture of, uh, those three. It was beat up, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I guess... Yeah, we'll check this out? What can... Yeah, there we go. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch oh, out. Jesus. Watch out! What? <sighs> what? Y you want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? Here. That's a time machine. Pretty awesome, huh? It was designed by a student right here at Host Peak. It's the ultimate, uh, the ultimate physicist. Although, they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. A time machine? Seriously? So it can go back in time? Okay, then let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! 
Oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagel in the microwave <laughs> one minute too long. <gasps> one minute? Wah-wah? You sound disappointed. Hmm. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyways. <laughs> There's no such thing as a time machine. What? Hey. Honestly, um... it's just an air purifier. An air purifier? In other words... It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. So with that thing, you can even live on Mars. But what, uh, what with the discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't don't want to live on Mars. You got Anyways, it. this machine is the reason you guys have all this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. Oh, you break it and your butt, and it's your butt. <laughs> that huge thing is an air purifier. And more important than that, yeah, the tragedy. Dots. You go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you. Okay, uh. No, what's the tragedy, dog? I discovered lots of stuff, and it's all strange. But I don't know if any if any of it was an actual clue. Uh. Okay, I was just getting more confused. Maybe I should go head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. So we got two new things here. We got a weird picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro that looked like it was taken someplace else. At least where there was no, uh, metal stuff on the walls. And Monokuma mentioned that the ultimate physicist left or died during the tragedy. What's the tragedy? <laughs> when I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Ah! Uh, uh, Hina! I tried to talk to her, but my voice was in immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed in the dining hall. Hina! Hina! Huh? Huh, I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You like donuts, huh? You do love those donuts. Hmm. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well... Well, my stomach ate kind of made me hungry, so, you know... <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Hmm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it is about to burst. Hmm. <laughs> Miss Ashahina is pretty much the same if you look at it. It, 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 look, it looks like. Hey, you old people don't have any room to talk. Well. Anyways, I was worried about you. Sorry. <laughs> Besides that, you. Huh? Jeez, your narcos are huge. What the heck? Did you like? Do you convince them to double up on milk production? Jill. You're all right. Bastard. Stay away from her, you fiend. Uh, anyways, first things first. We should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Dots. Hmm. Right. Alright, hey, Kyoko. Correct. Or Kyoko, whatever your name is. There was a rather remarkable physics uh, physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? Huh? What's something like that doing here? Hmm. Is the device really that big? I really don't get it. Dots. Right. Um, Sakura. Hmm. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the hall and in the halls and in the rooms were blocked off. Uh, I wish they just give uh, this a rest already. For serious, give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> don't just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. <sighs> just to be sure, I went from one end to the other. Testing each metal plate, none of them budged. So in the end, it, was, it's, it would seem escape from via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. Um, Afumi. Mm -hmm. There was an art room on the third floor and had all the kinds of gear. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite enemy characters. Oh yes, yeah, speaking of enemy, that reminds me, I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps a digital camera. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Oh, then let's see it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing's a kid's toy. It looks like it can store like five pictures, maybe. Doesn't have any time or anything. Well. On top of that, its appearance seems quite questionable. Is this some kind of animal character? Strange. You know nothing. Rude. She's not strange. She's Princess Peggles from the De Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. You, oh, you recognize this, Safumi? <laughs> of course I recognize it! It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at an anime convention. 
you have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Wait, that's my camera! What? Where did you find it? It's in the physics lab. It's my most prized position. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day along with my phone. Let's see. Why would you why would it reappear in the physics lab? However. Ah, but look at it. What? Got all messed up. Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection or you buy a secondhand shirt. Oh, that's it. That, huh, that's it? It's not mint condition. I don't need it anymore. But were you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Hmm. I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take any pictures or whatever. Oh, come on, group photo! Yeah, true. <laughs> we might need to remember people. Uh, Jill? Mm, yes, yes. <laughs> the long road to maidenhood begins with a single step. That road, uh, that road will begin with only wriggly old men, but it will end with the strapping young adorable boys. <sighs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah? Okay. So probably don't be alone with her ever. <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There just seem, there, there's just no, so happens to be a rec room on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Will someone join me in a game of Ortholio, Ortholo sometime? I don't know what that is, so no. Ataka? Dots. Dots? It's no use. Alright, so he's broken. Hmm. Oh, I just remember. I saw Byaku a little while ago. What? You Where? Where was he? What? what? Kinda scared me. No, let, let her know. Where was he? That is... Quite the talent with that tongue there, Jill. Uh, um... He was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no! So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me! <laughs> Alright, trial number four, or, no, wait, three? Three. Yeah, three underway. Huh? She just ran off. Is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. Yeah, let her, let her finish the job. Hi, Hina. I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I I did make one discovery. Could it be? It didn't have to be donut-related discovery, did it? Hmm. <laughs> what does that have? Does that even mean? That's right. Never mind. It's about the nurse's office. Remember? That's there's one on the first floor, right? Well, I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, it's not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there, or even vitamin supplements? Would be fine. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. I see. That's disappointing. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure if it's that disappointing. I mean, it is pretty bad if the nurse's office doesn't have any, like, real medication, just over-the-counter stuff. Okay, I've heard what everyone has, else has to say. Thus, now it's my turn. Um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird photo in the respiratory. Apparently, Monokuma took it. A weird picture, you mean like, dirty? No, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Shahira all together. Why? Those three. The three of them were laughing. Oh. Well, it showed them. Then... It showed the three of them together laughing? When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then. And the picture wasn't taken here. Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. You're probably just imagining it. Monokuma casts a spell on you. And now you're mine. No, I saw it, I'm telling you. Hmm. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here... How about that? I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and they took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible. After all, we saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Apparently he was turned... Like, he was liquefied. That They turned him into butter. Like, I don't know, it was Kinda weird there was like no marks on the bike, but I guess, yeah. Either murdered or executed, and they're not a, the only ones. Monokuna killed Junko, and there's, oh, then there's Sayaka. That was an illusion. It was real, I'm sure of it. They all died, they all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. So we have the we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forge. 
Is that really all it is to it? All there is to it? Ugh. Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma and Bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right. More, But more importantly, <laughs> on another topic, there is something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Okay. Sure. Let's discuss it. I mean, I wouldn't put it past Monokuma or actually, like, forging something like that just to throw people off. But I don't know, it looked pretty real. Then again, this is a mystical world where things like that could probably be easily forged to make it look real, right? Uh, bothering you. What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually... It's about Hina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It's called the tell, something that you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose be gets just a bit, little bit longer. Huh? What, for real? <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> oh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh. That's, that's not fair. <laughs> if you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Be honest. Were you trying, or were you lying about your stomach ache? Dots. Come on, Hina! Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? That's it. Are you I'm guilty? Sure. Are you feeling guilty about something? Just a second. No, that's not it at all. But... Just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? What's the reason? Sorry. To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? Well... I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. A, a ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? <laughs> but I mean ghosts are... What the heck? I see, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So can you tell me exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura... Then okay, I'll tell you. So um, So it happened last night. Game. Thanks, game. I'm still not sure if I have to censor this or not, but I guess being in one episode's fine. I was in bed and I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that happened up until now. I ended up just getting more and more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Huh? Donuts again? Oh, donuts again? Honestly. And you ignore the rule regarding midnight sorry. or nighttime. I know. Sorry. I feel really bad about that. Nina. Anyways, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange noise. Well... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. <laughs> and I saw a human shape surrounded by pale green light. There's no doubt about who, uh, no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro! <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does look like Shiro. Oh, no! no, no way! G ghost! Honestly. The, the fortune teller, of course, is gonna believe that. It's simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just that's just in the most cases of paranormal activity. It was born from your weakened mental state. Well then. Then we all have to go see it for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. <sighs> it is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. Are you gonna try and see a ghost? Is that really a good idea? It put a, I might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. Hey. What are you gonna do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Mm. How about you, uh, Mr. Ishimaru Taka? Are you gonna wait here? Thoughts. Oh. I guess that's a yes. See, the picture of Hina is not even that bad. But YouTube's like fucking so, um, annoying sometimes with shit like that. So I'll probably just put Eeyore's head over both of them. I don't know. It's not even that bad. Like there's like way worse that could possibly be shown. But I've I've censored way less too, unfortunately. Um, but it's it's just one of those things like I don't want to take a chance type deal. It was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, um, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come on. Cthulhu... Fatang? Please! <laughs> Shut up! What if he actually shows up? Hina. 
Where was it you saw Shahira's ghost? Well... well I heard a sound moment when I opened the door, or locker room, I kind of saw a peel outline of Shahira. Uh, this thing? No, that is... Oh, no, that is. Is this the locker? There was something in here. Oh, the laptop. Inside the locker is a laptop. What's something like that doing here? Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library before and it was missing. It looks like a laptop. A laptop that looks pretty old. It's all covered in dust. So It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier and nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how did the laptop from the library get here? It would seem I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. But I thought it was but I thought it was broken. Hmm. I bet that Shahiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... We're gonna show that you would probably know how to fix a broken laptop, right? More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green outline a green light, yes? Surely you did not mistake the light on the monitor for a ghost. Dots! <laughs> I am surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. Ah, oh, man! If I had the love, uh, love's clueless girl attitude, I'd totally have fallen, uh, fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. Well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop in a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come I on. I mean, okay, I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I've, I'd spotted a gray alien when it turned out to be a tadpole. What? Dang. Don't compare me what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. <laughs> I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? Uh, but listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing here? In other words... Maybe someone hid it here. But... In that case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh, what do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one bit of difference between this room and all the others. There's no cameras. There's no di Is there no cameras in here? There's no surveillance cameras. Yes, it's Precisely. Me. There's no cameras in here, which means this is one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. So you're saying, hmm. put the laptop here so hmm. the mastermind wouldn't know what to do, no, uh, know true. about it. What Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer laptop uh, screen. It was the figure of Chihiro's shining gr pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated the laptop a little in a little bit more detail. Okay, turn it on. It's just that, uh, like Kyoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then. So first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. I started hitting random buttons on the kit. Just hit the just hit like the space bar, enter dog. And the display instantly began to glow pale green. There was a bunch of different icons on the laptop, or in the desktop. Hey. Uh, there, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says Alter Ego. Hmm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it's not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the alter eco icon, and when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark. And then a voice spoke to us. Really Master, you're here! Chihiro's face appeared, taking up the entire display. Oh, it's a ghost! No! Buddha and sweet baby Jesus, save me! Calm down. <laughs> it's not a ghost. What? Huh? Um... Then what is it? Anyway... I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Yoga Man uh, began to type, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Shihiro for the second. Hello, Shihiro. Nice to meet you again. <laughs> I always get embarrassed introducing myself. The voice, the tone, and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew it. Alter Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI program? That's right. It's how Chihiro earned his title as Ultimate Programmer. The AI lives in a computer, and by repeating different ta tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Chihiro su uh, used, a, used a support vector machine and reinforced learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breathtaking a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support ve vector machine, reinforcement learning. It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know more, just Google it, okay? It. I I have uttered those phrases before, so I can actually relate with you here. In other words, 
Is it also just free to use like company names like Chef Warrior D and Google in your games? <laughs> like, I kind of thought you couldn't do that. I don't know. Maybe I guess once you get big enough, it becomes it's just like public. I, I don't know. But if the AI contain, uh, continues to grow, it'll become more uh, become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Mm. And that is why it's called Alter Ego. A fine choice then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your Alter Ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Shihiro cre created. That's Alter Ego. Kyoko, do you know how, how do you know so much about this? Dots. Are you okay with this? Anyways, so he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program in there. That is what this means, yes? Then he brought the machine to this dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, all this master and whatnot. Yes, yes. I, I believe him on fire. You stay away from the laptop. I thought you were only into 2D. Yeah, the laptop's 2D. You stay away from digital Chihiro, dog. Da, 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 da. This is the most excellent 2D possible. Huh? But he's a guy. Also a computer program. I feel. And that yeah. aspect is no problem. I mean... That aspect? Anyway. Anyways, let's talk to him a little more. Giko typed away rhythmatically. How much do you know about what's going on? Laughter. Only gave me a general idea. What? But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. He immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? That's are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on the laptop. Uh. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taken me a little longer than I thought. Master. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they must contain some important secret. For example, perhaps the secret of this school. Dots. While well, I was busily struggling to make a sound, Hyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? That's right. Uh, it's gonna be a while. Leave it to me. But I'm definitely gonna do it, so you just leave it to me. I see. So because of how long it took, he designed all three go to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart! It also means that the work remains uninterrupted even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typically uh, typed quickly. Keep it up, be, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. Right. Don't worry, I got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on by using my built-in webcam. So if anyone suspicious shows up, I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. That is fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh, why? Are you okay with Have this? you forgotten? All rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but he won't hear a thing. Oh, we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about once at nighttime we each take turns guarding the dressing room? However, There's a good chance the mess mind would notice us all doing going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then what can we do? So then. Once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. Then there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But... But if you leave your door open all night, then... It's true. There's a chance I may become a victim myself, I know. However... But I am not as weak as you may think. I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. Also, like... How about we just lock the locker? Like, the key's right there! Just pop it in and lock it! That confidence was something similar to Byakugan's tone, and at the time, at the same time, different. Yeah, it, that's, it's had an entirely different feel for sure. Like it was actually accurate. Like someone who's been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who's been born on the battlefield. It felt like there was a fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um... Would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um... I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... Is Master... For a second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, and direct. Chihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very slow. So I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> Somehow I feel like... kind of sad for her. Um... I can't even imagine if it, it, how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. Uh... Are you sure about that? Shall we go? 
Anyways, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to get suspicious. And then Kyoko type one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye! The eye seemed totally different from when we first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his program, or could he actually have been worried about us? Could it be? Hey, program feelings... They're not feelings, sure, but they're emulations of feelings, right? Huh. What's wrong, Hero? You know? Oh, nothing. I, I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we could call for help from the outside. Hmm. Well, if this is a dressing room, I don't think you can get online from here. Well? Well, if we take it out here and find somewhere that does have online access... Hey! That's way too dangerous! The mastermind would find out in no time! Uh, um, oh yeah, true. Indeed. This is no time for taking needless risk. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file the, of this file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. It feels like a detour more than anything, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, should we get going? It's now, true. there is a distinct difference that I think is going to come into a problem here. Everyone's still calling Alter Ego he, except one person. And that one person's beginning to worry me a little bit. And I would like to keep the laptop away from him. Uh, but yeah, if you noticed a little second ago, Hifumi's like, I kind of feel bad for her now. While everyone's like, he, he, he. Okay. Keep, keep, keep. If we come back in this laptop sticky dog, I'm, we're gonna we're gonna throw down, all right? Goodbye, hold neck, I promised. Uh, okay, come on, Hifumi, let's go. I. Oh, okay. And we all left the dressing room. Lock that locker, please. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I'm never doing something totally awesome, right? And if he'd been waiting for his cue. Dun, 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 dun. He has gained enough experience to level up! What's the matter? So what was the awesome thing? Monokuma. What the? Gazo seem remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? No, nothing in particular. Ah, yeah. oh, keep it secrets, no fear. I demand an exclusive interview. <laughs> denied! Denied! Super denied! What the heck? Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Say what? Do it? You mean like do it? Do it? Huh? Wait, what? What do you mean do it, do it? This. Ew, this. gross, you said do it! What? You said it first! <laughs> we were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided the rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. Hina won the match for us, and that's why we are all so pleased. Huh? Yeah, that's right! Speaking of which... <laughs> okay, boys! Why don't you head back onto the dining hall or something? We're, we're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come oh, on. jeez. What are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square. Well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with a ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh. Um. Damnation! Nuts, damn it, we totally lost another day without getting to take my very first bath here. Oh my uh, god. Uh, what is with you and Toko, babe? Yeah, but uh, tomorrow for sure. We'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so we should head back to the dining hall now. Hey! Hold on! Hey! Something hey. strange here, very strange. Strange, what do you mean? What's strange is this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. Huh? Uh, that's... You're, an abs you're absolutely right. Uh, I thought you were all about the 2D. <laughs> all you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's ideal setting for a man's fantasy. Oh, shit. Sakura is going to break us in half, isn't she? Dots. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathroom like Monica would say or just go quietly into the dining hall? Okay, let's go! God damn it, Makoto! What's this man's fantasy burning in my chest? I decided they had what? Uh huh. <laughs> have fun in your man's fantasy. Have a smashing good time. Sakura is gonna destroy us. Why are we doing this? Sakura will kill us. We opened the door in the to the dressing room. A silent as death peeked inside. It looked like the girls had already finished changing and gone into the bathhouse. This had all started as a lie, but apparently they decided to go in for real. Making sure it was empty, we quietly made our way to the dressing room. The Forbidden Land. But... Uh, they're really taking a bath. Is that this what Celeste meant about lying convincingly? Mm. Mr. Ahagakura, please refrain from pointless wizarding. We're, we're deep in the enemy territory here. <laughs> it's just up ahead is the bathhouse, and there awaits a great dazzling passion. Ah, oh, shit. 
I'm gonna have to do it, aren't I? Oh, it's gonna be next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, we're gonna have my video section. Check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. If you're interested in watching me live stream at twitch.tv slash please give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.